Welcome back to Neubrunn. We're about climbing up on this vine here, I don't know why. Uh, finishing up the great field. I think I should just stop calling it field and say vines, but I don't know, it's just whatever comes out of my mouth. Um, as far as I'm aware, all of our other jobs are done. Uh, we just need to worry about the grapevines here. And I probably could put this on a time lapse. But I know we need to get out to the sheep to see if they spawn uh, any wool. Because I believe we bought the spinnery and the tailor shop in this series as well as Amberstone. Um, how much do we have left? All that. Okay, well, let me throw this on a time lapse and we'll get the wool sorted if there's any. You guys get to see it uh, time lapse, but um, actually going through that quiet moment, all of what was remaining here, yeah, that was a bit painful. And I, my smart self, if you want to use that sarcastically. <laughs> Um, was thinking about getting the olive field because 
it would be beneficial because we can keep the yeah we can use this tractor we could keep the oil factory going I had two different things going on in my mind right there but we can keep the oil factory going uh, for because it'll keep going with the uh, olives to make olive oil when uh, we're waiting for like you know canola or sunflowers to grow in our crop in our crops and uh, and number two we wouldn't have to spend much money on that besides the harvester and the field excuse me burp counter plus one because we have would you stop you stopped right my way you just get you know, brother, we'll just go around this way I tell you AI sometimes the not the smartest night uh sharpest knives in the drawer and I'm trying to figure out before I get back to the original topic of conversation one of my series had two and a half or two and one bundle of uh, wool whatever pallets and I'm trying to figure out which one that was Productions, is this even running? Ah, still plenty of flour to make bread. How much bread do we have? Oh, we can swing by by. Back, back by. Cereal, ooh, we're going to need some oats. Hey, we almost have a pallet. Yay, maybe by the end of the episode. Okay, we got plenty of flour happening. Grapes, we got a good amount, a good amount. Uh, storing grape juice. Oh, we can swing by there, I guess. Distributing those to the cereal factory. Nice. And we got 105 liters of wool being deep. Uh-oh. We do not have the tailor shop. So, um... Yeah, we only have that in Amberstone. Uh, not this series, apparently. Um... Okay, well, everything's on the up and up. Taylor shot. Yay! Ah, too bad you can't hit a button and say visit. <laughs> but that would be interesting to see how much it would cost to buy the Taylor factory. A hundred thousand dollars. But I think for now... Since we got everything squared away, pretty much, we can uh, go back to the yard and have ourselves a little snooze. And yes, I am fully prepared to have our productions run out of everything. Every single one of them. And we'd have to fight like mad to get it all back up to where it was before we even slept. So, here goes nothing. And yes, I am afraid to look. Out. Amazingly still going. Out. S 
still going, but getting low on the oats. And still doing awesome. Nice. Now, how are our fields doing? Um, okay, our grass field's ready to cut. I don't know why I keep going up here. I keep I keep thinking that I own fields up here, but that's in Amberstone because field 13 is like right there. Ooh. 5, 2, and 6 is going to be another day yet. Okay, so let's trot back up here to the Kubota. Run that right into the sign. Awesome parking job. And I haven't heard any cars coming down this way in a while, but we're going to move this out of the way. You know, we can just park you right there. Now let's get back to the Kubota and get this out of, and get it out of the sign. There we go. And let's go off and gather up what products we can sell. Starting with the grape factory. We got two here coming up on the bread factory. Two here as well. Cereal factory. Ooh. Yeah. We have four pallets. And if any more is going to spawn, I wouldn't know about it because I'm just excited to have four pallets of cereal finally. Alright. Um, let's see. We have... Uh, what do we have? Oh, we could probably run by the oil mill too. Let me find... Come on. Bread supermarket. Cereal supermarket. What else did we pick up? Oh, grape juice. Well, just in case. That's farmer's market. So is well we ain't got olives, but so far it's supermarket. Uh grape juice supermarket. Okay, let's go back and wait a second. We don't need Okay. Well, let's forget the oil factory because we ain't got it. I thought we did. <laughs> My bad. Supermarket. Alrighty. What is this going to be? 46803 dollars. Oh, did I mention about buying the tailor shop? Would probably be a. Whoa, would you turn. What happens when your tractor doesn't want to turn right away? And I just realized it'd probably been wise to go get the. Uh, whatever. Fabric. But there hasn't been much fabric.
produce because our of our sheep. We now own the tailor shop. So just in case, you know, we can deactivate that. We can deactivate that. We can just stock it up. Uh, let's, yep, everything's turned off. Turned off. That needs to be turned off. Um, almost. And not quite. Okay. So. We have a brand new tailor shop, as mentioned before. And there's a car in our way. Tight squeeze. So yes, we can, once we uh, start uh, getting the fabric produced, we can uh, start making clothes. And once we get back to the yard, because I'm also seriously thinking about it, getting the, uh, oh, that means we would have to uh, buy the oil production too. And I don't know. But that would just seem too much excitement in one video. So for now, until our fields are done, which will be in the next in-game day, probably the next episode, Not much going on until then. I'm not worried about... Uh, we're animals. I'm not worried about the... I should be worried about the sheep. Because their... Food is down. Their food is out. I keep forgetting what they eat because they have base food, grains, and things like that. And I was like, uh, yeah. Ooh, corn. Do we have any corn? I highly doubt we have any corn. Ooh, we do have corn. Let's go grab the trailer. Grab some corn. And let's go feed our pigs. Because apparently them being in the upper corner, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Of course, that will probably hold true to the chickens too, because they're right here in the yard. Want to go to the wrong side. It's supposed to be this side. I want corn. We got corn, we're on our way to the pigs. Alright, piggies. How much of this corn you gonna take? Well, yeah, you're welcome. Have some food. Since I forgot y'all was up here. And you took that whole blooming thing. What? How much did that give you? Oh, corn's a base food. Okay. Yeah, 12,100 liters. Yeah, I think they're good with that for a minute. At least for a time. Yeah. 
but no matter how short or long yeah let me rephrase that um I was thinking this was going to be a short episode because of what you see me do and it still winds up taking um, almost 50 minutes of recording Ooh, let's check on the sheep while we're here and I just headed that direction yeah we got two things of two bundles of uh, wool nice so we might have at least 210 liters there. Who knows? Get on our own side of the road. But yeah, I can only imagine the uh, oil mill being at least 96,000 I can count on I can pretty much count on that because that's the average price on these maps um, and then if we wanna whoops oh I don't have to do that that was only on the uh, FS20. Um, olive. I just need the harvester. 306 thousand dollars. The olive field is right here. Three hundred and six thousand. A hundred and sixty thousand. Four hundred and sixty six. Might as well say another hundred thousand for the factory. Five hundred and sixty six thousand pounds or dollars. Yeah. I can buy coins in increments of 200,000, 500,000, or a million. So, yeah. Huh. That's actually starting to look like a great idea. But, um,. That'll be a decision for another episode. Because as it is now, we got, we're gonna have our hands full. And seeing it's still 8.30 in the morning, when in the next episode, we won't worry about sleeping until after this grass field gets done. Um, grass so they don't need hay okay we do have a baler wrapper we have a collector somewhere probably the other side of the fence we have silage bales in here that apparently I think can uh, become instant silage. And we got six bales, I think. Well, 6,000 liters anyway. So how much is... Oh yeah, we was looking up... Uh, silage prices because uh, we have 6,000 liters. I think I passed it. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, interruption. Uh, postman knocked out the door. Um, 
silage, ooh, bale selling. And I have yet to sell anything to the biogas plant. Anything. In Neubrunn, Amberstone, um, I think the last, you know, any of my series, I think the last time I sold to a biogas plant was probably when I was playing, playing on either FS15 or 17. I think 15. But yeah. 15 or 17, whichever one I had that big, big heavy duty front loader. But yeah. Other than that, I haven't been messing with the biogas plants because the one time I went to go sell to a biogas plant, oh, guess what? You have to own it first to dump anything here, that, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, bale selling. Probably could have figured out when I took all the uh, loose straw up there. Huh, okay. When is When is the best time for that? January. And we are in June. So, we're going to hold off on that one. Because this next uh, cut of grass is going to be for sheep. Uh, we might actually have to get another, unless we just dump it right there in their uh, feed trigger and just let them go at it when they want it but then I would love to get another uh, field you know for to make a grass field which I'm thinking if I'm had any sense at all it would probably be a field five over there when that gets harvested I forgot what was in there but uh, yeah gonna be quite exciting in the next episode um cutting grass feeding sheep sleeping and then actually i don't know if i wanna because like i said we have five two and six ready in the next in-game day so how much excitement do i want to have in the next episode right but anyway um yeah, we got a lot. We're going to, it's going to be a lot for us to uh, get the productions back up and going. Um, by the next episode, though, I should have made a final decision about the olive field, the harvester, and the uh, oil factory. Because I say yes, we got all three. That kind of thing. So, that's going to be in the next episode. And I can also mull it over when I go mowing the grass there. So, how much fun do I want to have in the next episode? I don't know. How much fun you guys want to see? I definitely don't know. Because I just don't know. I'm not you. I don't know what you like. You know, things like that. But anyways... Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, even though it was kind of small. Um, not small, short. But, uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. But until then, you guys take care of yourself. Have a great day, evening or night, whenever you watch this. I'm out. Peace.